Welcome to the introduction to the Q-Ray 3 from Ray Systems. Uh, this happens to be a pumped unit. There are also diffu diffusive variants of the instrument. As usual, this operates in the same way as most of the Ray instruments. Um, we've got two buttons of operation on here. So the on off button or the mode button and the yes or accept acknowledge button. Uh, so to turn the instrument on, hold down the on button and it will go through a standard instrument startup. The pump is based on the top of the instrument. This would also obviously normally operate with a hydrophobic filter in place. Um, this is a rechargeable instrument, so we can see the charging is via the ports on the bottom. This is the rechargeable battery pack on the bottom. Um, we can, uh, we've got a user clip, uh, so just a general normal confined space user monitor. It will always start up with a sensor warm up, which is uh, 60 seconds. So we'll continue the video when the uh, 60 second countdown is completed. So the sense warm up is now completed and this unit happens to be letting us know that um, some calibrations are due so we'll go through the calibration of the instrument itself. Works in a very similar way to any other Ray instrument um, but you can scroll, while we're having a look at this particular setting uh, we can go and look through some of the peaks, minimums, stells, um, TWAs, time and date stamp, battery, voltage remaining, what sort of battery type we're using the current runtime and the previous runtime, um, what our LEL measurement gas is and correction factors are set to, so we can preset different correction factors. Enter communication mode to talk to a PC or again the Auto Ray 2 communication dock, and then we're back to general operation. So this at the moment is letting me know all sensors need calibration, so we'll calibrate these with a standard full gas mix momentarily. So to get into the menus, hold the mode and yes buttons together. It lasts for a password, a standard, this is zero, 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 zero. And now we're into the back menu. So we've got the calibration options. Again, if you know any other Ray instruments, this is very similar. Measurement criteria, such as correction factors for your LEL sensors, etc. Any particular alarm settings for our toxics. Any data log settings, any general monitor settings. So this can include wireless if you have it enabled. This happens to be a wireless device. So we'll have a look at that in um, conjunction with the echo view. Um, and enabling and disabling sensors, etc. So this happens to be a standard full gas instrument, so O2, CO, H2S and LEL. You can get SO2 sensors as well, which I have enabled on another instrument. So to start the calibration, we can do a multi-point bump uh, if we want to, and we want to log that in the foot at some data integrity. Um, firstly, we'll always start with our first point of our two-point calibration, which is a multi-zero. So this is now gonna do a zero calibration on all sensors. Uh, it's a 30 second countdown. It should be clear that you should always have a nice clean atmosphere, which I happen to have here. If you suspect any contamination in the background, then I would suggest using a carbon filter on the end of the device. So we can see our calibration readings are, were successful on our zero calibration, everything has passed. So we can now exit that. And now we can do a multi-point span. You can also do uh, single gas uh, bumps or single gas spans. I happen to be using a, full, a standard full gas mix. Um, so I have an on-demand regulator here. Um, this is uh, one of the full gas mixes available from uh, safety monitors. Uh, we happen to be using uh, 50 parts per million CO, um, 10 parts per million H2S, 2.2% by volume of methane, um, and 18% volume oxygen. Um, do bear in mind there are certain gas suppliers who are using 2.5% by volume methane. Uh, we would suggest working to the most recent specifications which are 2.2% volume. Um, so we'll start the uh, multi-span. Uh, it's just letting us know what sort of gas types we've got so com please confirm that these do match your gas bottle. Um, you can manually start but if you happen to have an on-demand regulator or gas applied this will automatically um, start the calibration when it detects some gas flowing over the sensors. Um, so it's a 60 second countdown on the calibration and then at the end of that period we'll know if that calibration has been successful or failed. So we can see that our cal readings are where they should be and that has now passed its calibration. So we can exit the calibration and then remove the gas from the instrument. We can also set different LEL calibration gases if we so wish and change the span values if they don't match um, the standard settings. So we can look at the span values for the LEL, the O2, H2S and CO. 
In terms of measurement criteria, we can look at all the standard things, change the um, turn sensors on and off, look at the measurement units, look at the measurement gases, etc. Um, alarm settings would normally be your high alarm, your low alarm cells and TWAs. Any data log settings you may want to change, so this is what you, whether you want to clear the data log, change the interval, change the sense selection on the data selection, uh, the data log type, what will happen when the um, data is full, so whether it will wrap around or give an alarm and terminate. Um, and then the general monitor setup, so this includes date and time, display, pump speed, site IDs, user IDs, etc. Um, and then we can exit the instrument. So this is a, a non-wireless device. We ha also ha have a wireless Q-Ray 3, which you can look at in a bit more detail in one of our other videos, um, working with the Echo View and um, the closed loop mesh network. Um, operation needs to turn it off, just hold the off button, but please check out the other videos um, if you're interested in learning a bit more about the Q-Ray 3. Alternatively, you can go and visit our website at www.safetymonitors.co.uk or do give us a call on 01489 890 458 between 9 and 5 Monday to Friday or outside of normal working hours, please do give us a call on 07951 854 824. We're here when you need us and we understand that the normal 9 to 5 day doesn't always apply. So please do feel free to give us a call. Thanks for visiting and we hope to see you again soon.